So if an airplane has to take off, at some point in time, it has to land. So what does a landing aircraft look like? What does an exponential function look like if its base is between zero and one? So let's graph some points just like we did before. If f or g of x equals negative three, one half to the negative three, turns that into two to the third, becomes an eight. So you can verify these on your own. Let me just go ahead and do some math here while you just sit and watch. After pl plotting some points, we have enough points to go ahead and start to get an idea what the graph looks like. So over at negative three, we have a value up at eight. Negative two, the value is half the distance, which is a four. Interesting that it's half the distance, huh? Eight to four. The next one is to a two. Half of two is a one. Half of one is a one half. Half of one half is a one fourth. Half of one fourth is a one eighth. Half of one fourth or eighth is a sixteenth. So I start to have a graph of my airplane going into a landing there. And so that's what our exponential functions look like if the base is less than one half. So the two functions we want to kind of get a mindset around are airplanes taking off and airplanes landing. Again, a couple observations here that I want to point out to you. Notice as they get closer and closer to the x-axis, but they do not cross the x-axis. So they approach it asymptotically. And likewise, depending on which graph you're going to, they rise up into infinity very steeply or they fall from infinity down very steeply as well. Lastly, these values, one half and two of x and so forth, let's see if I can find a, a different color here for you. This base right here, the steeper that base becomes like a seven or an eight or that number rises greatly, what that means is that this graph will rise more steeply within its function. And so depending on what the base value is, will determine how quickly the plane rises or how quickly the plane descends. So I hope you enjoy as we explore this type of a concept. There are things all around us that are exponential, but we really haven't given enough thought to understand what's exactly happening. And that's what we're gonna do. So let's enjoy this time. And I guess maybe one other thing I should say too, or just to really hammer home with you guys, is what does the domain and range of these functions have as well? Exponential functions have a domain and a range. So my f of x function over there, I would say it's domain, which represents all the possible x values are from negative infinity to positive infinity. Its range represents all the values I could get with any of those inputs. And what do you see as the range? The range is from zero to positive infinity. And notice that zero is not included in the range, but it only approaches zero. Likewise, g of x is domain. Again, represents all values and its range. Even though the airplane is descending and landing, its values are from positive infinity to zero. And so that's where I would expect to find all the values at as well. So we can speak of range and domains with our exponential functions.